Hello friends. It is Wednesday at almost three o'clock in the afternoon and I apologize for the delay in getting this uh, second installment of my video blog, my weekly video blog out to you. Um, as you can tell, I am not at home. I'm actually at Panera in Queen Creek doing some uh, work on Sunday's worship service. I think it's going to be really interesting. So um, hopefully you're making plans to attend, whether you're going to do so in person or online. Um, so earlier this week, I sent out a, an email to everyone on our email list. We have about 375 folks who are on our list. If you did not receive that email, please, please, please send, a, um, send an email or uh, to our office at info at songoflifeumc.org. That's again, info at songoflifeumc.org. And uh, we'll see that you get a new one. Uh, if you don't have email access, just give us a call and let us know that uh, you did not get it. Uh, you can call the church office at 480-641-1200. Um, last Sunday was my first Sunday back after vacation. It was great being back with everybody and I'm just so grateful that uh, we had some folks that attended online, or excuse me, in person, and a lot of folks who attended online. So that was uh, really awesome. Uh, this week, we are continuing our sermon series called Facing Issues That Divide. Last Sunday, we did a really interesting thing called Mentimeter. It was a poll, a live um, poll that was done during worship. So it was in real time. And the results of that poll were... Um, were such that, uh, well, I, I actually posted the results of the poll in the email that I sent out to, to all of you. Uh, and it was really interesting because what I was asking for was what issues that are dividing people right now are you interested in covering in this series? So um, there were about five or six issues that, actually more than that, about seven or eight issues that were... Um, that, that rose up to the top. And so we're going to start this week with, um, with social media, because it was one of the big ones. We did a word cloud. And again, that word cloud is posted in the email that I sent out earlier this week. The, um, so we're going to look at the ways that social media is dividing us as, um, as people. Uh, not just from a political perspective. In fact, we won't hopefully won't be talking about politics at all, but just from the standpoint of um, individuals, friends, uh, people who we have um, been friends with in the past and now all of a sudden we're not for whatever reason. Um, and we're gonna look at some of the, the uh, toxic ways in which social media has been used to, um, to spread hate uh, in our world. So. Um, please be sure once again to take a look at that email uh, because it did uh, include some interesting information about stuff that is uh, coming up. Another thing that was in that email uh, were two, um, let's see, yes, two polls. And one of the polls is asking whether or not you're interested in uh, being part of a uh, traditional Bible study, whatever that means to you. And so I'm asking some questions about that. If you would please respond to that poll, then we can maybe get that going uh, either in person or online. And um, the other poll was for uh, having a discussion group on the sermon series, the facing issues that divide discuss discussion group. So take a look at that two polls, those two polls because if you are interested in being a part of one of those groups, we'd like to get those formed as soon as possible. We're also looking at, uh, and will be uh, rescheduling our Coping with Loss group. It turns out Thursday nights are not, uh, turning out to not be such a good time for me. And so I think we're going to move our Coping with Loss group to Tuesday evenings. Um, our campus is a little busy, but we do have space in the youth room. So uh, we will plan on meeting in the youth room on Tuesday of next week. I'm not sure what the date is, but I'll send you out another reminder before then. All right. Uh, I want to keep these blogs really short, but I do also want to remind you that if there's any time that you would like to meet with me or um, I just have coffee or a cold drink, 
uh, please let me know because I am in Queen Creek probably, oh, at least four or five days a week and, um, and out and about since I really don't have much of an office at the church. But uh, I would very much like to, uh, to spend some time with you and, uh, and just reconnect, especially since we've been uh, embroiled in this whole pandemic for so, so long. Um, you know, I just realized that I did not introduce myself at the beginning of this uh, video. So I am Reverend Jody Topping. I serve as pastor at Song of Life United Methodist Church, and it is my pleasure to do so. So I am looking forward to this coming Sunday. I hope you are as well. We have our usual worship services at 8 a.m., 9.30 a.m. Those two are both traditional services. And then our praise service is at 11 a.m. And once again, we'll be focusing on social media and how it has uh, divided us and what we can do differently in order to hopefully um, reduce the divisions that are taking place in our lives as well as in our uh, world. So. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being uh, a part of my video blog, those of you who tuned in. And uh, I'll see you next week. Thanks a lot. Talk to you soon. Bye.